This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to some more Conan Exiles tips. Today I'm going to show you how to get legendary repair kits and black and white dye. Let's get to it. The first thing you're going to do, you're going to hit your escape key, you're going to go to your settings, you're going to go to your server settings. If you're not already an admin, click make me admin. If you're on a server, you're going to have to put in a password probably. Put in your password then you're gonna go down to purge right are you everybody with me everybody following me you need to make sure your purge is, is on and enabled so you want to click that check mark right there and then you want to set your purge level to two or three I've gotten varying results between the two you get a little bit stronger thralls and it looks like you have a slightly better chance to get the thralls you're looking for set on three but you also get animals and other random shenanigans as well and it's a little intermittent whether you're going to get thralls or not if you set it to two you pretty much always get thralls they're super weak and they may not always come with name thralls anyway once you've done all that click apply go back to your game wait patiently for a purge to start once a purge starts, look on your map and see where it is. Oh look, how convenient. We have a purge going on right here. So now, we're just going to wait for the uh, the purge. We got, a, we got a two minute countdown for the purge to happen. And then some thralls are going to show up. Okay, so once the purge kicks in and you got your thralls. See, we got thralls right here. That guy's about to get blown up. That guy's about to get blown up. And that's good because those were all trash thralls. The thralls that you're looking for are going to be little well actually a good bit bigger than the rest of them in the group you you kind of can't miss them as they're walking up so here's a perfect example see this guy right here he is named he is much larger than the other thralls and that is what you are looking for that would be the guy you want to knock out however that guy is a named fighter we're looking for a, an alchemist or a, uh, a blacksmith either one of those now they're just they're just raiding the base like a bunch of punks so we're just going to murder them uh anyway so that's what you're looking for now that you've seen how much bigger they are than the others you now know uh what to keep an eye out for and you want the alchemist as we have here i have an alchemist on here he is a named alchemist you can see that he comes with the black and white dye so that's it he was from one of the purges and i just kept running it until i got one it can take a lot of time it's completely random here is the blacksmith and you can see that he makes the legendary weapon kits and they were both obtained from uh, a purge thrall that's that's the only way to get those two things is from the purges now as far as i understand these thralls can show up no matter the level that your purge is set to you just have a better chance of getting them because they spawn more frequently at levels two and three preferably two two is almost always going to be thralls attacking you at level six you're mainly going to get animals attacking you but there's a small very small chance that thralls can spawn the downside to that is there's also a small chance each spawn that it's going to spawn with a name thrall so your best bet if you want to get these guys is to set your server to or your single player to a purge difficulty of two or three now the other thing to keep in mind you want to be in this main area right here so this whole desert area right here is your best bet they are apparently bugged over here in this area you will get the lumerian thralls attacking you however it's always archers it's just always archers and fighters you'll never i ran it for heck three hours and never ever got uh, any name thralls to spawn. Uh, apparently, from what I found out, it's buggy up in this area as well. So your best bet is to have your your strongest base somewhere down in here, and they should just attack down in here if you're in this area at your base anyway. 
And that's it. That's pretty much all there is to it. I know it's probably not what y'all want to hear because it's kind of crappy that that's the only way to get them, but that's it. All right. Well, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. That is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my Patreons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Lee crew of Patreons, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you'll like comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching